hello class welcome to the next lecture on uh, control system so e lecture la nammal cheynathu koche theoretical aayulla kaaryana basically nammal nammal uh, open loop um, closed loop ellam kandu so in this lecture what we will be doing is we will be having a uh, comparison of both okay so nammal onna enganeyana compare cheyna different aspects la okay uh, so nammal thodangum vere namakku first of all oru representation nokka and then open loop angle it means you have the input here you have the output here directly our planned controller um kodulla nammal forward path inde oru idu maatham g of s le maatham kodukunu so our transfer function p of s by r of s equal to g of s okay ini uh, closed loop anangalo closed loop anangal enganeyana we have this uh, planned and uh, this thing കൺട്രോളർ അതെല്ലാം കൂടി ജി ഓഫ് എസ് വരും ദെൻ ഔട്ട്പുട്ടിൽ നമ്മളൊരു ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് എടുക്കുന്നു എച്ച് ഓഫ് എസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ടു ആൻ ആഡർ ഓർ സം അതിൽ നമ്മൾ എന്താണ് സബ് പോസിറ്റീവായിട്ടോ നെഗറ്റീവായിട്ടോ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് ചെയ്യാം ദെൻ ഈ പ്ലാന്റിൻ്റെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൺട്രോളറുടെ ഇൻപുട്ടിലേക്ക് പോകുന്ന എന്താണ് എറർ സിഗ്നലാണ് ആൻഡ് എറർ ഈസ് ബേസിക്കലി വാട്ട് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് റെഫറൻസ് ഇൻപുട്ട് മൈനസ് ദ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് എത്രയാണോ വരുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഈ മൊത്തം ഇതിൻ്റെ അതായത് നമ്മുടെ ക്ലോസ് ലൂപ്പ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ എന്താണ് ഇത് ഒരു ഇൻപുട്ട് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് റിലേഷൻ എങ്ങനെയാണ് വരുന്നത് ലെറ്റ്സ് സി ഫോർ ദിസ് ജി ഓഫ് എസ് ദ ഇൻപുട്ട് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് റിലേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പി ഓഫ് എസ് ബൈ ഇ ഓഫ് എസ് ഓക്കെ ജി ഓഫ് എസിൻ്റെ ഇൻപുട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി ഇ ഓഫ് എസ് ആണ് ആർ അല്ല ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് പിന്നെ ക്ലോസ് ലൂപ്പ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിലാണ് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഈ ഫീഡ്ബാക്കിൻ്റെ ആണെങ്കിലോ ഇൻപുട്ട് ഇസ് പി ഓഫ് എസ് output is b of s okay now e g of s into h of s ne nammal open loop gain annu parayna aa oru term whenever you hear the term open loop gain understand that it, it what it is what is meant by that is g of s into h of s okay uh, transfer function alla open loop gain of a closed loop system okay kaana open loop ani h of s nalla oru saane varunnillallo and uh, for a closed loop system uh what we call as the mathematical model of a closed loop system closed loop system is the open loop gain okay now uh moving forward okay uh, now let's uh let's see the uh, relations okay we have our output p of s okay what is uh, p of s it is whatever is coming here into g of s that is e of s into g of s now what is e of s e of s means r minus b minus or plus okay so this thing becomes r of s minus or plus b into g okay and uh, what is b b is basically c into h so we can write r plus minus or plus h into c into the whole thing into g that is c now what we do is namaku uh, namaku basically uh, transfer function or what do we need we need c by r alle so what we do is we collect all the terms which are having c on one side and all the terms that are having r on the other side and finally we write the closed loop transfer function as cs c by r equal to g by 1 plus or minus gh the feedback is negative anagil 1 plus gh irikum feedback is positive anagil 1 minus gh irikum remember this is not the mathematical model of a closed loop uh, control system just a feedback kondu varuna or athre ullu but transfer function idana remember okay transfer function um idum thammulla oru difference undu okay ini oru practical systemile uh, whenever we are giving positive feedback it means the input and whatever signal that is being fed back it will be either in phase or 360 degree out of phase okay and for negative feedback uh, the input and the feedback signal will be out of phase by plus or minus 180 degree idu parayan kaaranam endana nammada ee analysis inde ella basis nu parayana endana complex exponential adhaayathu nammada signals ne we are representing as endana uh, e to the power of some j omega okay 
sigma plus j omega e to the power of sigma plus j omega and all of this uh, it is uh, in, in its essence it is a sinusoid right? so sinusoid minus minus where you know where you know 180 degree phase shift where you know same signal where you know 0 degree phase shift 360 degree phase shift or multiples of 360 degree negative or odd multiples of 360 180 degree negative so that is what actually okay now moving on let us uh, jump into a direct comparison between uh, this open loop and uh, closed loop systems so uh, this left side is the end aspect of the left side and the open loop and closed loop. So first, let us see transfer function. You know this, open loop transfer function is g of s and closed loop transfer function is g of s into, uh, sorry, g of s by 1 plus uh, g of s, etc. Okay, then gain. So what difference is there in the gain when we are comparing open loop and closed loop? Okay. Uh, open loop is the gain difference but when it comes to closed loop see there is a difference and then the gain is reduced by 1 plus gh okay is reduce is and then this is greater than 0 and then things are different okay and uh, the next next thing is and then uh, uh, stability okay then usually uh, and then uh, uh, open loop systems are uh, more stable and whatever is out of all other other change where in the feedback of all additional system which it is an asset in the land all other than any advantage but share either very better other the close loop when it comes to close loop stability it depends on what kind of feedback you are actually giving. Hmm? There is a condition where closed loop stability is more than open loop stability. That is, the product GH is greater than 0. Hmm? GH is equal to minus 1 angle, then there is an impact. If GH is equal to 0, okay, if GH is equal to 0, then what close to closed loop stability and open loop stability are the same. So it depends on what the product gh determines right and then uh, the next point of comparison is uh, accuracy right so again the uh, open loop power and then it depends on the input and process okay accuracy no right and then Accuracy is an input in a follow the ability and accuracy is an And inherently open loop systems are less accurate. Why? Why are uh, this uh, closed loop systems more accurate? Because we have feedback that we have to feedback in a dependent way that we have to output to change. Right. Our feedback in a uh, in reference input in a compare way that output to change so inherently uh, feedback systems are more uh, accurate and uh, uh, when it comes to sensitivity sensitivity in uh, how transfer function changes depend depending on g how transfer function changes depending on h okay if this one uh, equal to one means it is highly stable uh, sorry uh, highly sensitive uh, the, uh, g is equal to t so whatever change change comes to G, it is directly affecting T. That is for open loop. But uh, when we come to closed loop systems, uh, what is happening? If it, uh, then uh, sensitivity of T with respect to G is 1 by 1 plus GH. Again, sensitivity of T with respect to H is minus GH by 1 plus GH. That is always E or a factor on the 1 plus GH and the no comma at the number. So again, this it is reduce the sensitivity reduce by a factor of 1 plus gh so uh, this is less sensitive to uh, that is uh, closed loop systems are less sensitive to uh, changes in g 
uh, when compared to open loop systems. Okay. Now moving on. Uh, now let's talk about the bandwidth. So you have the class analog circuits that what gain bandwidth product is a constant. Hello. So obviously in a closed loop system what is happening gain is reducing by a factor of 1 plus gx. Therefore bandwidth has to increase by a factor of 1 plus gh. Okay. So either I know or you uh, and then and uh, bandwidth large bandwidth gives very quick responses that is a small TR. TR and all we'll uh, see uh, the other time response parameter and we'll see what it is. Okay. And uh, either just to do illustration and how quick it is changing. There's a or you uh, initial value in the zero load to power ball without feedback and with feedback with feedback it changes dramatically similarly from zero to uh, another value for the final value to pump ring and a change in knowledge just to do uh, denotation matter okay then uh, our last major point which is reliability. How reliable are these systems? Are they in the physical components? And then, uh, that is it depends on the reliability, depends on the number of components used in the system. Uh, open loop systems are more reliable because it has less number of components. Okay. This is the simple system. This is your advantage. Uh, components are reliable. Reliability is reliable. Okay. Then there are some miscellaneous points like uh, uh, for open loop systems we don't have to measure the output for closed loop system we have to measure the output okay therefore uh, sensors are essential Here, uh, sensors are not essential for open loop system then uh, we are not generating any errors errors in the sense we are um, other than number EFS RFS minus BFS not in EFS our error in the reference input and output number on the error. If it are error, say you know, then uh, design is easy, design is complex, uh, nothing much, just general thing. So, uh, these are some uh, basic uh, differences between uh, open loop and uh, closed loop system. Now, just to do understanding in a way, the math Okay, so that is uh, what I wanted to say regarding uh, this topic. Uh, okay, thank you.